All right, so here is uh, a, a, a tragedy of comments. So a very relevant topic. Um, we will kind of talk about it when we talk about the public goods um, and we're going to call it a uh, free riding problem. Um, so it's pretty related. So what's the idea? Well, the idea is the following. There's a common good, uh, a good that uh, a group of agents can use simultaneously, like, for example, fishing. All, right? all the fishery, all the, uh, all the uh, fishers can actually go to the ocean or the sea and then they can just collect as many fish as they like. Or in the specific example, we're going to talk about groundwater irrigation. So basically, there's water underneath, and so we extract as many water as we like. But obviously, what happens is that the idea is that people in, in such circumstances usually look at their own individualistic gains and losses, and they don't really estimate the negative externality they create on other agents. All right? So once again, the idea is that the people are usually just trying to maximize or their own profits or losses, but they, they, they don't correctly estimate their impacts, negative or positive, but usually negative impact in, in, in case of uh, tragedy of commons, uh, they don't estimate the negative externality that they create on others. Uh, so for example, in the groundwater irrigation, well, the more water I use is actually increasing probably my productivity because the water is good uh, for farming. But the thing is, it means less water for my neighbors and for other people because the, 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 the water is limited. Or if, if we're talking about a fish, in the ocean, well, we can, I can hunt as many fish as, li as I like, so that's going to increase my profit. But the problem is that the more fish I collect, I basically decrease the amount of fish that the others can co uh, uh, collect. All right. So therefore, this externality, this, the, 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 the case where we all ignore the externality could actually lead up to a socially inefficient outcome. And this is one specific example. All right. As I mentioned, let's talk about the ground, groundwater irrigation. So there are two farmers, very specific environment. There are two farmers and uh, they extract water um, for simplicity at two levels. They either extract high amount of water or low amount of water. All right. Obviously, the amount of water extraction is a continuous variable. Just for simplicity, it's a one or zero kind of thing. All right. So you either choose low or high. Well, what about the payoffs? Well, the, the revenue from agriculture is depending on how much water you extract. If you extract high water, a high amount of water, you're going to make, say, $2,000 of revenue from agriculture. But if you extract less water or low water, you're going to make only $1,000 from the agriculture. Because as I said, water increases the productivity. Well, the extraction of water is obviously costly. So if you extract high amount of water, say its profit, uh, cost is $1,300. Or, and if you extract low amount of water, the cost is only $500. Well, the, the, the thing is though, this is where the, uh, the externality kicks in. It, there is an additional cost if, you ext if your opponent also extracts high. So you both extract high means the, 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 the amount of water in the reserve is not going to last enough. So it's going to hurt you. All right, so that's sort of the idea. So the additional, there's an additional cost, $500, if both farmers, if the other farmer is also, uh, uh, not, I'm sorry, not the uh, both farmers, but the thing is, if the other farmer is extracting high water, uh, well, it's negatively, uh, whether you are uh, extracting high or low doesn't matter. The other guy extracting high water is causing you because you probably have to dig deeper or whatever. And so it's going to cost you more. So the other, so that's the externality. If the other guy um, extracts high water, well, you have additional on top of your cost, you have additional $500 cost. If it extracts low water, uh, well, it does not cost you anything extra other than your, you know, uh, regular cost. So that's the idea. Well, each um, agent, each farmer is trying to maximize his own profit. And the profit is, as usual, revenue minus the cost. All right. So we can, 
Well, well, I mean, what is the decision process? So let's model this as a game, a simultaneous move game. So both farmers are choosing the amount of water to extract simultaneously, let's suppose. So therefore, we can actually represent this game as a simultaneous move game, right? So you and I both uh, choose whether to extract high amount of water. So H represents high or low amount of water. So high, low. So player one is the row player, player two is the column player. So the first number will correspond to the first farmer. The second number will correspond to the second farmer. So given that both farmers are extracting H, high amount of water, what is the profit? So pi H H. Well, it's going to be 2000 from revenue minus there's going to be 13 hundred dollars cost but because the other is also choosing high there's going to be additional 500 so that means uh, 700 minus 500 200 net profit all right so this is 200 200 well if they both choose low pi l l well each is going to make one thousand dollar profit and there's going to be a cost of 500, but there's not going to be any additional cost. So it's just that. So therefore the total profit is going to be net $500, 500, 500. Okay. And then now let's consider the case where the first firm is choosing high and the second firm is choosing low. And so I calculate the first firm's profit. So the first firm is going to make $2,000 profit a revenue minus $1300 cost and because the second the other farmer is only choosing low there's not going to be any additional cost so therefore the net profit is going to be $700 so the profit of the first firm if he chooses high and the other chooses low is 700 so this is 700 what about this what is the second firm's profit when the first firm is choosing the high and the second chooses low. Well, the second guy is choosing low, so therefore his revenue will be 1000 minus his cost is 500, all right? But the problem is, remember, for uh, the other uh, producer, the other farmer, which is farmer one, is choosing high, so there's gonna be additional $500. So therefore, it's gonna be zero profit. All right. So given that the other guy is extracting a lot of uh, water and you're extracting a, a very, the, the, the minimum is actually uh, pulling your profit down to zero. All right. Well, the thing is the game is symmetric. All right. So everything, the payoffs, everything is symmetric. So if this is 700, zero, given that one is choosing high, the second is choosing low. Well, here, the one is choosing low, the second choosing high should be the, the mirror image, meaning zero, 700. Okay. So if you look at this game, what do you see? It's like, what should be the outcome? Well, the Nash equilibrium, and in fact, the dominant strategy equilibrium in this game is that both farmers choosing high, high. All right. I mean, how so? It's like choosing high water is better than low. Why is that? It's a dominant strategy because whatever the other farmer is doing. So if your opponent is watering high, uh, if you choose high, you're going to get 200. But if you choose low, you're going to get zero. So 200 is better. So you should go for high. But if your opponent is choosing low, well, the high is going to give you 700. The low is going to give you 500. So high is still better. So whatever your opponent does, choosing high amount of water extraction uh, is, is definitely more profitable than low extraction. So high is a dominant strategy for both. All right. So that means high, high is the dominant strategy equilibrium and also a Nash equilibrium in this game. So. Well, what we see is that, however, this outcome is a, a socially inefficient, socially inefficient outcome. Why is that? Well, the socially efficient outcome is that they both choose low because the total sum, remember the, the social welfare here is the utility of agent one. Uh, farmer one plus utility of farmer two. So the total utility here is 400 
total utility here is 700 and same 700 and the total utility here is 1000 so the social welfare maximizing outcome is that both choose l and l so they they choose low irrigation however this is not in equilibrium outcome of this game why is that well because each individual says this is by the way a standard prisoner's dilemma game right so the game is not a zero-sum game but it is a prisoner's dilemma dynamics so given that the other guy is choosing low you actually so if if i'm player one and if i believe that my opponent is actually going to choose low rather than going low i would prefer to choose high because it's it's 700 profit better than uh 500. so if if each individual considers his or her well-being individually and, and ignores the, uh, the, the, uh, the externality, which is this additional cost, the externality, uh, externality occurs only if I produce 500 units. If, if, I, if we ignore the externality, will, will we end up socially inefficient outcome? All right. Um, so this is exactly what we mean by the tragedy of commons. And uh, this is just one specific example. I hope that was clear.